we're going to Kainai, which is one of the Blackfoot reserves in Treaty 7. We're going to a powwow. For me, as like a non-Indigenous person, like I, I go to see people that I know, see friends and people I consider family. I remember when I first went, like I had so many questions of like, what's that dance? What's, what are they wearing? And what's that called? And powwows are very open spaces to have conversations and to just meet people. Those of you that compete in the Sinner Indian Relay, that's gonna happen right after the Sinner Tribals before the 14th Year Council. We're gonna go around the arena, so come over here and check it out. Right now we're standing in the middle of a powwow. There's a lot of people here. This is probably the biggest powwow I've ever been to. I'm always really cautious and try to be conscious of like where I am, especially in places that I'm a minority, which doesn't normally, like that's not a normal thing in my day-to-day -day life. I've lived in Calgary my whole life, but I didn't know that Calgary was within Treaty 7 territory until about three years ago when I started university. And at first, like, I didn't really understand what that meant because, like, I didn't really understand what Treaty was in the first place and why that was significant. There's so many dimensions and it's an ongoing thing. It's a living, breathing thing that has to be sustained and, and kept up. This idea of we are all Treaty people stems from the fact that there are two signatories for Treaty 7, which is where we are right now, and also where I was born. Because of that document, it allows me to live here. It allows me to participate in things like powwows, and it allows me to, to engage with those stories in a way that I'm not sure could ever have happened if that signing hadn't taken place. <laughs> There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Give them all a big round of applause. Good one.